And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. So some pressure now on the kicker, Ryan Suckup. This for the lead in the final stages. And Suckup will put this one right through. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. And now out come the Jags. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations yeah, they all the time. They they? All the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A big one there for the Jags. 18 yards, first down. He'll look to throw. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more on that one, and another first down. They'll look to throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. 380. 380. He's back to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Touchdown, Jaguar. James O'Shaughnessy in the final minute. And the Jaguars have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late. But now you've got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. Here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Oh, he got position on him and he pulls it in. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. Nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it surprises you. That may have happened to him in that situation. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Mariota now, 11 to 15 through the air. Here's first and 10. One, one, one. One, one. One, one. one last shot now for Mariota. And this is going to be caught. 
It's caught, and they've won the football game. Brandon, you know I love boxing, right? You know I love big fights, right? I had given them the standing eight count a few times along the way. And look at how this one ended. Yeah, they had, well, I guess nine lives just like a cat kept fighting. And there in the end, making the huge play to get the game winner. I guess that's the epitome of you always have a puncher's chance. Still got to be careful of a blocked return here on the extra point. The extra point is good, and on the final play of the game, they walk away with a victory. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game, but these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there.